vet talk, I want to address racism. To me, <laughs> I don't really consider it to be racism. And I say that because, man, there's only one race. That's the human race. And the Bible said we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So my issue and my problems aren't with another group of people, regardless of their color or regardless of the history that, you know, most black people, you know, like to talk about without looking at the fact that, you know what I'm saying, we enslaved our own people at one time. You know, um, of course, yeah, the, you know, the black and white thing was a bad thing to happen to. I get that. But there's one scripture in the Bible that kind of eliminates all this. And it's talking about loving your neighbor as thyself. I think we got to start with that, man. Because that's truly the true, that's the true problem. Most folks don't love their neighbor as thyself. Because most folks don't love themselves. That can come from fatherlessness, you know, in the promotion that hip hop music and, you know, things like that pushing our, you know, in the, in the black community, you know, which is another problem that, you know, folks don't want to address, you know, which is the reason why the black community is the way it is. It ain't because of the white man. It's because of the black foolishness, the things that go on in the hood that nobody want to talk about or address or, you know, they, you know, one minute, you know, bashing the white man for a history that, you know, have happened in the past, they, they want to address that, but they don't want to address the stuff in our own community. And that's crazy, man. And that's why as a Christian, man, I can't stand for anybody who's not for Christ, who's not pro Jesus Christ, man. I'm all about the Bible and I'm all about Christ and taking that stand as a believer, denying myself, picking up my cross and following him. So at the end of the day, that's what my stance is at when it comes to racism. But to me, it's not even racism. To me, it's sin. That's the problem. Sin is the problem. And if we're going to address the sin, which is hatred towards your neighbor, which people call racism, if we address that issue, then we'll start addressing a lot of our other issues with sin. You know, sex outside of marriage, um, you know, committing adultery, you know, homosexuality. I mean, we, we address a lot of these other issues that, you know, it's a sin issue, a sin problem. The problem with our world is sin. It's not racism. It's not, you know, um, all these other things, even, um, the, even, you know, the love for money, you know, um, which is the root of all evil. Sin. Sin is the problem. Not racism. Not all these different things that people, you know, come up with. It's the, the true problem is sin. Most people have anxiety. Most people, you know, who dealing with all these different mental illness and sickness. <laughs> the problem is sin. If we address sin, I'm, I promise you we can get rid of a lot of our issues. But the reason why those issues are going to remain, because sin. Because the Bible says, for the wage of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. And Jesus came that you may have life and life more abundantly. And if you don't have an abundant life as far as health, then your problem could be sin. Not racism, not anxiety, not all these other things that, you know, doctors, you know, who... Basically get paid for medication trying to tell you. Address sin and you'll address a lot of your problems. Vet talk out.